Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to time stretch samples in Ableton Live 11. Basically, I'm gonna show you how my process and how I fit certain samples that are, are at totally different tempos and my drums are at totally different uh, at a totally different tempo and try to make them fit together and sound as good as possible. Um, so basically what I have right now is I have this um, splice loop. As you can see here, it's at, uh, at a 94 BPM and then I have some vocal chops that are at 158 BPM and I'm working in a, in a tempo of 145 right now. So this is basically how it sounds without the drums. So it sounds a little, a little wonky, a little funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to stretch this, um, the vocal chop to fit um, this piano loop. But first, let's 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 uh let's do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just press the shift button on my on my keyboard, right? And then I'm going to hold this. And what it does is it stretches your sample. You can stretch your sample to the, you know, to whatever bar you'd like it. So now it's sort of in time with this loop, the the main piano. So let's play it. Sounds a little bit better than it did before. And also, in my warp settings here, I'm gonna turn complex on. And you know, so the piano is still out of time right now. So it's not in time. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit the shift button again. I'm gonna drag my sample and I'm gonna drag it to the 16th bar right here. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna loop this like that. And now it should sound in, uh, it should sound a lot better and a lot cleaner. Also, I'm gonna adjust the warp settings, which I already did to complex. So this is how it sounds with the drums. So now that we have know how to time stretch this using the the shift shortcut and just dragging our sample to the bar to make it fit to the measures that we're working with. Um, let's take it a little step further. So say if you have a, a sample, right? And we're using this as an example. Um, and you know, uh, some of the, the loop point, well, whatever loop point that you're working with, maybe it's not on beat. Maybe you wanted to hit a little hit, hit on the third or the, the fourth measure. But so what you want to do is you want to, um, double click your audio. Um, let me just show you, for instance, you see how some of these transients here aren't on beat per se, um, or in time, um, what we can do is let me just clean this up. Cause there is some dead space in the beginning and let me fix this and stretch this out a little bit more. Okay. What we want to do is we want to open our editor right here, our warp, you know, and then we're going to set our one, one right there. So that silence isn't there anymore. And we're going to just adjust our loop uh, point there. And what we want to do is if we want to take this transient and put it on beat, essentially you just want to double click, insert a warp marker. Some, it, it, when you insert a warp marker, um, right here. So this is a warp marker. So what you can do is uh, to double click, it deletes it. And to add one, you double click. All right. And this little guy right here is a, uh, uh, a transient marker. So, it's similar to warp marker, but it's just like sort of like what Ableton Live does to um, 
to, you know, to auto populate your, your time points for the transients. So these are markers for potential transients that where the beat peak peaks, correct me if I'm wrong, but all in all, what you want to do is you want to, um, drag, like what I like to do is I like to set a transient marker right here on that next bar and put that on time, right? So now this is on time. Uh, and then what I want to do is stretch this over just like that. So now this part of the loop is essentially uh, on beat. So let's take a look at it. And let's do the same as an exercise for the next part. So we're gonna go to this fourth measure. So I wanna put this transient and this transient here I want to put it on the four. So what I'm going to do, as you already saw, I double click, placed it right there, placed that right there, and then just like that. Um, and then I'm going to do the same for this. Okay. So basically, we put this part of our loop on beat with, you know, just on beat. So let's play it. Let's take it a little further. Let's 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 do some more. So what I'm doing, insert our warp marker. Drag it over. Drag this over. Drag that over. Okay, and that's how you stretch your samples. So take let's take a listen. Yeah, and that's basically it. So it's pretty simple. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, this little uh, video. And please like and subscribe and leave comments below and suggestions for other videos. Have a good day. Take care. Later.